All right, over here on these hinges, they hit the inside of the door like this. So what I need to do is come from the inside to get a weld through here into the uh, pieces of the hinge that bolts in the door pocket. So what I'm thinking I gotta do is I gotta either drill a couple of holes and plug weld them together or cut a couple notches and, uh, well, it's still kind of a plug weld, it's just gonna be three-sided plug weld, and um, get those started. And once I can get the door swung open, then I can finish the welds on both sides. So, not thinking of any better way to do it, nobody having offered any better suggestion, I think that's what we're gonna have to do here. But like most things that I do on this car and a lot of the stuff that I've worked on, uh, <laughs> nobody really knows what we're getting into until we do it. So let's go ahead and uh, start trimming away. Alright, I think we got everything as lined up as I'm going to get it. The door is sunk in just a little bit because I maximized the adjusters in one direction. So that way I can then adjust it and bring it back out. You know what, I think I need to clamp that just a little bit right up here on top. I'm going to put a big clamp on here just to hold that because I notice it's got a little wiggle in it. On the bottom though it's staying where I left it because there's actually a shim in the bottom. It's a little piece of it, a sliver and it lifted it up just high enough to get everything into place. I've got the welder ready to go. I'm gonna take the camera on the inside. We're gonna see if I can um, fit you guys in there with me, but because I'm working in kind of a weird corner, I don't know if that's gonna work out too well. It will try it, and if it doesn't work out, well, sorry, I did the best I can. <laughs> time I start a door hinge video I keep telling you if we get lucky I might get the door mounted well today I have no other option oh wow okay we got an interesting little thing going on across the street here somebody just backed into their garbage can <laughs> back right down the driveway and he hit it real hard too <laughs> so anyways uh, <laughs> where the hell was I that took the steam right out of me oh now he's bottoming out the front real bad too almost ripped his bumper off. Their driveways are a lot steeper than mine. When the guys are putting in the new driveways over here, uh, when they laid out the sidewalks, these are the guys that work for the county, they um, saw that I had a 350Z and they changed the incline of my driveway and cut it up. I mean, like a good 10 feet from the, the sidewalk just to change the incline. Whereas everybody else, they only cut it down about five feet. But I got this ha uh, almost a third of a section of my driveway all new just from those guys because of that. Anyway, I'm way off subject here. Today's the day we're gonna do the door. There's nothing else that I need to do to make adjustments on this, so we're gonna attack it immediately. What I've got inside is I've got some wood shims. I'm gonna put them into place and get the door where it's supposed to be. And uh, 
we're gonna do some welding. Now, if you've been watching, you've already seen that I've done that. This is the me from the past talking. Um, what we're actually going to do, right after that intro, is we're gonna pop this door right open. So anyways, like, comment, subscribe, pluck that dingle belly, that way you get updates every time I upload a video. And don't forget to check out duckshit.net for all my different social media links. That's right, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, in several different places on Facebook. I have three different YouTube channels, and if you want to find any of them, hit up duckshit.net. There's links to everything that's there, and there's also ways to get to Earl's channel if you want to know who Earl is. Earl's the guy who's going to be painting Eleanor. So if you want to see the color reveal, and you want to see the work progress that's happening, you better check out duckshit.net forward slash ccc which takes you to earl subscribe he's got about 300 subscribers right now he's got a whole bunch of different cars in the shop volkswagens is not the only thing that he does but if you want to follow the elmore project you're going to need to get over there because in about a month that's where she's going so i gotta get her hurried up and get this thing done anyways thanks for watching you guys we'll be back in just a second We're about to find out exactly how badly the duck man failed at putting hidden hinges on that were never going to work. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet myself, you guys. Ooh, they moved a little bit. Yeah, everything moved just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a little tweaky tweaky, but that's okay, that's okay. Are you ready for this? Here we go. I'm being real careful just in case those wells decide to snap. God, it's open. And it's supported on four tacks. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the whole door moved that way when I welded. I can see the gap over on this side opened up. And this gap is a little tighter than it was before, but it's still not rubbing. No, it's not rubbing at all. I thought I was gonna have to modify that a little bit more, but uh, <laughs> I don't believe it. There's a weird ding in the door that I never noticed here before on the outside. It looks like an alien chest burster trying to find its way out. I'll gently wrap that with a hammer. I wonder what happened there. It might have been when I was standing it on end. I dropped something inside of it, a tool. Actually, I dropped several tools inside of it. That's probably what happened is it hit the inside of the skin and binged it out. Anyway, yeah, it, uh, it still needs a little bit of an adjustment, but uh, it's there. It's there. Let me get those welds finalized. And um, <laughs> we got one door with hidden hinges and it works. I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. Just, just wow. I, I'm totally beside myself. I thought I was going to completely f it up. I really thought I was going to f this one up. I mean, just. <coughs> there it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get to cleaning it up a little bit. Get those welds reinforced before they bust and um, make some adjustments here and see how nicely we can make this thing fit. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so anyways, I got to adjusting some things over here and playing with some stuff and the door opens pretty well. I'm pretty well satisfied with it. I got a few more welds on it, but I'm not done with the welds and the hinges yet. Um, the door does have a little tiny bit of a sag. I can see it, it's uh, less than a quarter of an inch, but it does have a sag to it, but I figured out what it is. It's not my hinges. This is, uh, <laughs> this is something I'm glad I noticed because I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to it before I finalize everything. But you guys probably remember this notch that I had to cut in here. Well, watch this when I open the door. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. 
You can see right there, that's the problem that I have. That's the reason why the door sags. As I was saying that this little piece of body right here makes a huge amount of difference to its rigidity. If I grab this and, and sh just wiggle it back and forth down here, all the way down at the bottom, down by the apron, the, the whole front bows back and forth. So this does need to be reinforced, and I'm glad I didn't weld it on without having the door already installed and closed. Otherwise, <laughs> it would have been permanently sagged. I would have had to cut it back out again. Well, actually, I probably would have never even known that was the problem. But anyway, yeah, it's pretty obvious that that's the reason why I have a little bit of a door sag problem. So I'm going to need to fix that for sure, right there. Yep, that's actually causing the uh, A-pillar to move just enough, just enough to have it not squared up. So anyway, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a two by four and a jack under the bottom of the back of the door over here and just lift it up a little bit and then once that's lifted up, I'll come back up to the front here and then I'll weld this all back together. Now I'm looking, the gaps here are no wider than a Sawzall blade, but I, geez, I guess it was just enough to flex the front end, or at least for me bending and twisting and pulling on things and sawing away at stuff and cutting into the A-pillar. I guess it was just enough to um, have it lose its strength. So yeah, I'll have to patch that together. Minor inconvenience, really, really minor inconvenience. But I think we're going to stop because we're running out of daylight. And at this point, I have to cut the lawn. <laughs> the lawn is about knee high right now. I've been putting it off because I've been so busy with other things. I've been trying to make videos, working with work, and just uh, doing day-to-day -day stuff with my friends. You know how it is. So, thanks for watching, you guys. Please give me that licky likey. You know, really, I put a lot of effort into this door thing. And if you like the way this is all turning out, then please give me that thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. As always, uh, comment, subscribe, and check out duckshit.net where you can find all of my other social media links so that way you too can be a Duckman follower. Hmm, how about that? And to all the naysayers out there that said that this wasn't going to work, you know, thanks a lot, you guys, really. Uh, you were the driving momentum for me to make sure that it happened and worked properly. And for the rest of you, of course, that always follow me, hey, bigger thanks to you, really. Bigger thanks to you for being there for me, for backing me up through this project, and for anything else that I've ever done that you guys have been there for. Once again, thank you very much. Anyways, I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. <clears throat> and in case you're curious, because I know you are, there's the inside of the door. Of course, I still got some patchwork to do, still got some uh, minor welding, and the hinges are only tacked on for the moment. But uh, yeah, she works, she's square, and there's about an inch between the door and the fender, all the way up in the front here. I can get my fingers all the way up from between there so I don't have to worry about any clearancing issues. This is good. This is good. It's just a whole lot of uh, <laughs> just welding, filling, stupid nonsense. Easy stuff. Easy stuff. And then I got to do the other side. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, one more thing I almost forgot before we sign off. Ha <laughs> ha! In the next video, if I don't get to working on this, I think I'll actually take a little pause for the cause on this here. But um, I found a good use for a Dodge Caravan. Uh, I will talk more about that in the near future. There's another piece to Eleanor that's going to have a, a kind of a, well, I don't, know, I don't know if it's a major modification, but it's a, a significant modification, something that Volkswagen left out that uh, I'm compensating for. So for those of you that are watching, make sure you stay tuned for that. It might even happen as soon as tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Cliffhanger. <laughs>